Hi, my name is Mark Hobbs. I'm a lifeguard at Retallic, a special constable of Devon and Cornwall Police, and a nighttime star photographer. I've been into photography for maybe f five or six years. Uh, we moved down here in 2009 from Hertfordshire, and I went to an open day at Truro College. I didn't know what course I was going to do. I was thinking some kind of media course or something along those lines. I saw the photography exhibition that was there, had my interview that day and ever since then my life's been all about photography. I've done a lot of different types of photography, starting off doing landscape things, staying away from people really in my college years. Onto uni it was all focused around people because my confidence grew uh, along with my photography so it was models and documentaries and different things like that, different lifestyles, really focused on people. Since leaving uni uh, it's been more focused on star photography and abandoned buildings, locations within Cornwall. I enjoy the types of photography that I'm doing now. The star photography and the abandoned places or locations around Cornwall because it feels like a challenge. I've been trying to master this star photography for over a year and only within the last few months have felt reasonably confident in how to shoot, what I can shoot. There's an element of luck involved, almost like shooting with a film camera, and then there's a, a gap to development to then see the result, which I used to really like. With digital cameras, that's not really the case all the time. However, if you're gonna sit in a field for four and a half hours in the middle of the, dark, in the, middle of the night, and you just get one photo at the end of it, there's an element of, not necessarily luck, but getting all these things right to get a final result. So it's rewarding in that sense. There's also a physical challenge element to it. To be the person that can sit in the field for four and a half hours during the night in the cold and getting to these locations and with, with torches in the darkness in the middle of nowhere. So it's, it's part of the, partly the challenge of that and the delayed reward that you get at the end of it. Things we try and avoid would be your generic classic landscape shots I mean me and my friend have a scale I guess you'd call it uh, we call it the Cornwall Today scale we rate photos or ideas for photos out of 10 and if they're anything sort of over a 5 uh, we don't shoot it so towards a 10 would be a front cover magazine shot for Cornwall Today anything silhouetted on a beach with a happy family and a dog uh, we try and avoid it for that reason when we first start, started off doing this nighttime photography, it was difficult to find locations that we wanted to shoot. It seems like living in Cornwall, you have to put a lot of research into finding these locations, but they are out there. In terms of locations that we've been to, there is a, a huge variety of locations in Cornwall, from abandoned places to you know, roast rock to places where we want to shoot the stars as we're trying to avoid the classic tin mine uh, beach shots it can be hard to find good locations i've been doing it for about a year and a half now and i would say that i'm kind of now again running out of locations like when i started we're going to be moving the only way we can find more locations now is to move into sort of devon and maybe further up unless we reshoot things we've already done however you can still be surprised all the time by finding new new interesting places you never really get scared being in in the middle of nowhere at night. The main trouble or worry we have is, you know, is, is other people. We have what we class as a legitimate reason to be in some of these random locations in the middle of nowhere. So to have someone else come up who's not a photographer, you, 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 you wonder why they're there. You know? The main things that we try and avoid but seem to come across all the time in National Trust car parks would be doggers or teenagers eating McDonald's. So they're the only two real worries in locations like this. In terms of the abandoned buildings and some of those places, again, you've got other issues with those. Possibly people living in there or people using it for drug use or drinking in there. So that could be a bit more dodgy, especially the motel location and places like that. However, places like Roche Rock and where we should be more star related things don't really have those kind of worries because we're, it's just a peaceful place and you know four, four or five hours really can fly by if things are going well and you know you're going to get a good result. I love photography because
because I can use it to challenge myself and push myself. I can also use it to not only explore Cornwall and other areas, but to photograph and take a friend or someone with me and spend time with them. The actual taking of the picture is like an event and a memory. Not only will we have the photo at the end of it, but we'll have the, the stories around getting lost to try and find the place, walking through the darkness and the torches and being scared that people might turn up. It's all about the adventure. So I'd say the main thing I love about photography is the adventure.